Dang, man, we was already talking. Shut up. I'm not excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you say you're not excellent? You ain't black excellent. <laughs> I'm, I'm not excellent. excellent. I'm just okay today. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. How is your baby? Good potty train. Um, mostly except for like nighttime, but I said, how old is he? Oh, I said, oh. Oh, how is he? <laughs> He's two and a half. Dang, man. <laughs> when do crazy. babies start talking? Before yeah. one, they start saying little words like mama, dad, dad, like seven, eight, nine months. Well, usually they should say a couple of words by the time they're one. If they don't, kind of got to watch out for them, see if they got an mm. issue. Yeah. I can't even remember my sons are not talking. Oh, well, let me tell you something. The uh, the JoJo video, <laughs> no, the Zay Zay video, when he was getting the Holy Ghost, I was like, oh gosh, I remember that. That, that was JoJo. Oh, it was JoJo, yeah, yeah, bro, mm -hmm. that was hilarious. It's crazy because he still looks like that to me now. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I get it now. I get what my parents were, like, why they were like, no, nah, you're my little baby. I'm like, man, I'm 30. Like, yeah, but no, though, not to me. <laughs> <laughs> but your mind, like your mind, has a baby filter on your kids forever. They always just look like when they were like one. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yep. I really want your kids, Kev, because I, I mean, I, don't, I thinking about raising some new kids <laughs> scares me. I need somebody else's kids. I need somebody to start off right. <laughs> you want some refurbished kids? Like, I ain't ready to start, start, start from scratch. Yeah, I want you to get started and then let me finish it off. I think I could do a pretty good job of finishing raising kids. <laughs> what, what age are you talking about, though? Like, what age would you pick? 19. They, they, no, nah, like, they got to know how to do a lot. They Like, it's eight. Oh, girl, that's eight is a good age. Mm -hmm. Eight is solid. Ugh, I don't like the ages between set six to 12. So if you would like to take my son, <laughs> For that time frame, your son ain't even got to six yet. I'm saying, <laughs> right he's there, he he is available if you like take him. <laughs> well, because that age group, they a little whiny, but they know too much, but they don't know enough. They get on my nerve. They know too many words. But they don't know enough about life. Ah. Okay. You can have all. That. I don't know what uh, there's a uh, there's an age. It's like after baby, before toddler, when they're just kind of cool and chilling and clammy that's like us like uh <laughs> just like, oh, I'm a, you know they're walking and stuff but they haven't they ain't started <laughs> testing those boundaries i'm like those are like my favorite kids clammy is hilarious what does you that know even mean they smell like that pink lotion go ahead Justin. <laughs> No, nah, one thing I actually noticed, I this I actually think this is, you know, due to like evolution and stuff. But anyway, white people hands be clammy as hell. Do y'all know that? Do y'all know mm. that about white people? <laughs> like when you touch their hands, they feel wet. All the time? Think, all the white people. Nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten. Nine <laughs> times out of ten. Very high percentage. They ain't been through nothing. Their <laughs> hands are <laughs> hands are moist. Hey, they what's the definition of clammy? It feels like, like you just kind of like like you just, you, it feels like you just pat your hands with a paper towel, but the yeah. hands always feel like that. I love, I love clammy though. I ain't going to even hold you. Oh. Ew. You like clammy? One of my worst things in church was when you had to hold hands <gasps> with somebody and their hands were clammy and cold. Yeah. I'd be like, man, never yeah, mind. Yeah, clammy me. and cold is weird. Clammy and warm is my jam though. And it's, it's weird when people don't know that their hands are clammy. I'm like, how do you not, you don't that feel that word is so funny. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know your hands are clammy? Are you, are your hands the only thing that can be clammy? I think your feet. No, do. your you feet can be clammy. Feet? Your skin can be your whole yeah skin can be clammy for sure. Y'all ever had a I don't I don't I haven't dealt with too many vaginas. Y'all ever had a clammy <laughs> vagina? <laughs> Y'all ever seen one of those? Sorry, clammy? man. Let's go back. I I the sentence I ain't yeah. dealt with too many vaginas. But... <laughs> <laughs> I've never I've never left a vagina and thought clammy. That was clammy. Okay. No, no I but I have had a chick's vagina that was cold. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. That sounded really creepy. That sounds it, dry. It was really, dry really cold. cold. Was she a yeah, living? I, oh. I, she was. She was making noises, though, so she was alive. She was an alien. Uh, what? That it was weird. That's yeah, weird she, she did not understand why they were like coming over there. I was like, <laughs> oh 
That's weird. I bring hey, listen, Barbara, your goose is kind of cold. It's weird. A little blanket on it. They don't be naming women Barbara no more. I ain't seen a young Barbara. I ain't seen a baby named Barbara in a while. That's my mama name. <laughs> really? But she's a mama. Yeah. I've never met a uh, Daphne. Daphne? Oh, no, that's oh, Daphne. Yeah. yeah. Never met a young Daphne. My, my wife's life. name was going to be Alberta. And Ooh. I told her. If her name was Alberta, I would not have hollered at her. Like, dang, you ain't never <laughs> really? seen nobody like, bro, Alberta, she out here. Like, that's just, <laughs> it wouldn't have fit at all. Uh-uh, <laughs> Alberta might make a Mean Greens, but you ain't like, me and Alberta okay. going, we going to the prom. Me you and Bertie. You get a chance. <laughs> my mama, oh, every, my, mama, my grandmother was very specific. It's Carol and, Vi and Vira. Vira? Vira? Vira. Carol Vira? Vira? A lot of V names nowadays. No. Nah. Vanessa, Vanessa gonna hold strong because all Vanessas are fine. Vanessa's gonna always hold strong. Okay. Viola. All Vanessas are fine? No, so you never met an unattractive hmm. Vanessa. That, now that you're saying that, I'm like thinking of all the Vanessas and I'm like, oh yeah, they are pretty. Vanessa, Vanessa Hudgens? Williams, Vanessa Jeez. Williams. Vanessa <laughs> Hudgens. <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens Vanessa is young. Vanessa Simmons. Oh no, she's 32. Vanessa Simmons, yeah. Yeah, Vanessa I guess Simmons so. That's how I feel about Veronica's. Every Veronica I've ever met is always like gorgeous. Yeah, but they be evil though. <laughs> what? They work for like Russian mobsters. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> is Vivian me. an old name? Yeah. Yeah, but it's, like it's, making old a it's making a resurgence spelt V I V I E N N E. That's like the cool, hip new way to spell oh, it. Damn. That's cool. How, how is it, Meg? V I V I E N N E. Someone rebranded the name and now it's taken <laughs> off again. <laughs> yeah. Basic. That's really specific. Dope name for a little girl. You ready? What? Aurora. That, oh. Isn't that like the. Like Aurora Borealis? No. With isn't a that o. Sleeping Beauty's real name? Aurora. O R uh O. Oh, they had, she had a first name, Sleeping Beauty? Yeah, I think it was Aurora, <laughs> wasn't it? Who's Aurora in that story? Hang on. I don't know. Aurora sound like don't nobody like her. Like I can't stand Aurora ass. Like, ooh, she got my nerve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Happy. Aurora. That's her name. Sleeping Beauty's real name is Aurora. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Princess Aurora. Yeah. What was that? Air with O. Sleeping Beauty? Hey. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know she was named till this moment. Same. <laughs> I actually Same. don't remember much. Clearly, we doing trivia mob today because that was aggressive. <laughs> and the dude who came to to get her was named Philip. <laughs> I didn't know any of that stuff. Philip and Aurora does not slap as a couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aurora is. Ain't pretty nobody nice. like, man. Y'all want to go over to Philip and Aurora's? Nah, man. They always yeah, be having nah. clammy hands. They got clammy <laughs> hands. <laughs> <I> slap. <laughs> clammy is such a specific. Hey, that is so specific. I think that's my new favorite word. Let me find that specific. Clammy. <laughs> Gotta find out the specifics. Unpleasantly damp or sticky or slimy to touch. <laughs> Unpleasant Un to unpleasantly who? damp is just <laughs> very like there's a that implies there's a pleasantly damp. And clammy's like right. we're, we're beyond pleasantly Way damp. <laughs> We are in we are in unpleasantly damp territory. Like, I think pleasantly damp is like okay. They they literally just dried their hands with paper towels because then that dampness goes away. It's short. It's not a long. Pleasantly thing. damp is like properly moisturized, like the back yeah. of your knees. You know how the back of your knees are usually yeah. kind of like a little wet, but it's never like dang. The back of my knees are soaked. Like a baby, it never, it never ruins your day. Mine are oily because you know you put lotion on. Y'all's is wet because y'all don't be putting lotion on. Y'all be sweating. Yep. I don't be. No, I got lotion, lotion on. on. I lotion, don't put lotion, lotion on my knees. I actually put pants on because I had shorts on, and I was like, I could either put lotion on or put pants on, and I was like, Why is why are they mutually pants. exclusive? You could man because both. nobody cares if they don't see the ash. It's you know, only... okay. So one day when your knees bust open and bleed from all the ash. You gonna be like maybe ash. next time. I'll nah, man, lotion. because our uh, cavemen did not have lotion. This is true. Okay, okay, they bleeding. also didn't have real language, and they also didn't have computers. Was we cavemen? I don't know. But that got to do with you. I'm just saying, like we be making a big deal about stuff that pe pre previous generations didn't care about. Kevin, our ancestors. Do you think our ancestors was putting lotion on? 
Yes, that's where that's where shea butter come from, that's Africa. Africa. I don't think they was like, oh man, I'm ashy. Yes, Let me was. go ahead and put the shea butter on. <laughs> they that, was. Was, that was how it was invented, probably. No, I like lotion, 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 lotion go away though. Feels good on the skin, and it also protects from the sun. Yeah, yeah I know that. Did you? Well, you don't need to protect from the sun. That's what the melanin. No, is. no, no. I'm saying from like the elements. Yeah, like wind as hey. well. How ashy did it get where somebody was just like, we need something. <laughs> they just started, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm bleeding. <laughs> I'm bleeding. I'm itchy. <laughs> they had a breaking point, huh? Something. <laughs> is, is, is shea butter naturally harvested, right? Something Wild, like, like raw Wild shea butter. Shea butter. Listen, Kevin, don't be asking us the specifics, okay? <laughs> you know? what, is, what is wild Shay? <laughs> wild Shay sound like a girl in middle school who got pregnant. Like, man, Shay, <laughs> wild Shay over there, man. We in eighth grade. That one is <laughs> oh, wow. There's an she African Shay. We were there hanging out with Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be there's a everybody. shade tree it comes there's from a, a tree there's a literally yeah, an african it, shade tree that has nuts it's actually called shia we just call it shea here because we got a lot of white it's Irish shea butter huh shea if you ask any African oh. person they will say shea. 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 really <laughs> hold on now i don't know is it it is, i promise you all my african friends was like y'all just don't know how to say it right over there and i was like what why they're like that's shea shea butter not Shea butter. I was like, oh. wait, say it again. Shea butter. Shea butter. <laughs> you went. How do full, people just know that? Egg went that full no jollof food. rice on that one. You know. <laughs> oh, so, yes. That's hilarious. Shea butter. No you don't see. I think it's and I've seen it in the comments too. Because you remember, I said Jalof. on great. Like I said on great taste one time. I was like, yeah. Instead of lotion, I was like, I use um, shea butter and I use like cocoa butter. And people they tore me up. They was like, it's shea. You guys say it so terribly. It's like, oh. It's somebody else for. Who <laughs> said, was it, were they not from the United States of America? No, like this is from Africa or like uh, British. But it's not so Shia to us. It's, it's, both it's Shea. Well, I know we say Shea, but I think we didn't invent it. So we should probably mm. <laughs> listen to people mm. who invented That's... it. But is that is it pronounced? Is that with their accent, or that we just used American accent? We were trying to say Shia, and we just said Shea. Well, we can't, but I'm saying we have a lot of like Irish influence here. So for us, when we see that it's Shea, right? We don't look at it as Shia, but the correct way is Shia. We just don't say that over here. Well, is it hmm. plantain or is it plantain? I've that heard was, real, was, real, real Jamaicans say plantains. But mm. other Caribbean islands say plantain. So, oh really? Okay. But who owns? Who has? Who has jurisdiction over plantains? Or plantain? I think African people I say was... plantain too. I don't think they but say plantain. I definitely say plantains, but I also am not trying to act like I'm from the Caribbean. <laughs> I'm from El Paso, and people say it was plantain. <laughs> you from so. Mexico? Man, you really could have could have kind of went off on them because it's also butter and not butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> They but they got the first part right and the last part wrong because they didn't invent butter. The shea butter tree takes 15 years to harvest nuts. So I wonder if people were like, man, like I always wonder who was the first one was like, man, what if I just opened this and rubbed it on my knees? And people were like, nah, this yeah. is really like I How always know? am curious of like what on that tree did somebody be like, this will fix my ash. I know it. <laughs> and it just worked. Like nuts though, lotion nuts. Yeah, man. Like People just uh, of all the stuff in Earth, who was just like, like peanut butter and jelly? Who this. thought I'm gonna put these two together mm -hmm. and it's gonna work? Cause they they didn't come together at first. And somebody yeah. was like, Nah, man, the salty of this and the sweet of this that probably go hard. <laughs> and then boom, <laughs> like the sandwich was invented. The Earl of Sandwich was like, What if I wanted like meat, but then like I could mm -hmm. hold it. <laughs> but I want a peanut butter and jelly so bad right now because it Bruh, is. I, I can't never stop eating peanut butter cheese. and jelly. We could, we could get together. I'm going to be thinking about that all cheese, day. Cheese, BT. Cheese is just old milk. Somebody cheese was like, disgusting. I should throw this away. And then it's they were like, so oh, good. I, could, I could also eat it. And they then, started smelling right. good again at some point. They're just like, wait, wait, wait. Don't throw that out. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, okay, I feel like the weird the weird one is chicken and waffles to me now. Like whoever invented that was tripping. That was probably they probably were. Person. That had to be a hangover. <laughs> yeah, man, I got the chicken from last night. And I got waffles. I'm finna eat both of these. Yeah. Um, I, f- I was, feel like that was Roscoe. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> Roscoe is the original place because if you have Roscoe's waffles, they don't taste like waffles anywhere else. So when everybody else tries to do it, they're like, "Oh, chicken strips and Belgians." I'm like, right. This- Right, it's gonna go together. To That's me. how it's I know like, you're not serious. If you're using Belgian waffles, it ain't you ain't real. Yeah. And if you're using chicken it, strips, it ain't real. Yeah, it's only at Roscoe's mm. I like it. It's like Roscoe's chicken and waffles I like. I don't like chicken and waffles. Their general. waffles are just the right amount of thickness. I feel like they're yeah. so they're, thin. they're thin. They're really and they're thin. super sweet. Yeah. They're Y'all super care. sweet, and their chicken never really cools down at the restaurant. <laughs> I don't know how they do that. That's funny. Yeah, you want to know a secret about Roscoe? So I have a theory on fried chicken. Like the fried chicken that's good to you is based on your family, right? Like however your grandmother or- I agree with this. That's how you like it, right? I agree with this. So I don't like uh, deep fried chicken. I don't like it like in a fryer. You like pan or in a cast iron, skillet fried? Yeah. At Roscoe's, they use cast irons. Really? Yes. What? How many they got back there? That's what I was just about to ask, man. I don't know if they still do, but they had a big ass cast iron at at the at the Pico and La Brea. They I saw it, and I was like, "Dope, yo!" Literally, they're timing out how many orders are coming in, and that's how it comes out so fast. You ever notice sometimes you go to Roscoe and they just I was gonna ask you, BT, what if they was just parading that around so people would think that? But in the back, they really got an air fryer, and then (laughs) that would be. That would be the scandal of the century. ABC cool. News with a, a a new report: Roscoe's has been using a a visible cast iron skillet to trick patrons. But in the back, they have seventeen air fryers. They have seventeen air air fryers. Chicken is phenomenal. It's it pretty is. Good. I feel, somebody was saying the air fryer been around a lot longer, but they just rebranded. It was called something else before. The convection oven. Yeah, convection oven, and then they. Oh, that doesn't the air sound fire. No. <laughs> It sounds like a like a math problem. <laughs> it's like I okay. got a convection on. Shut up, nerd. Get back in. Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> and some guy with Crocs came through. Like, hey, I got an air fryer though. And they're like, oh, okay. Now, now this is weird. <laughs> Wait, how? How does that work? It's just the air circulate like in a regular oven. I think the air the. Oh, hold on. Can, you, can y'all hear me? Oh, the air. Yeah, in a regular oven, the air. She was just making a joke, Meg. She was just making a joke. She didn't want to. She yeah. didn't want to know. Yeah, I, I, that's I, I have one. I, have I own one, Meg. Meg was just like, okay, so oh my gosh, I can't wait. Okay, so what happens is <laughs> the air circles around, the heat. Don't nobody care. We know. We know. <laughs> it's literally, was like, okay, <laughs> like, finally, finally. <laughs> you saw Jazz, the light dim in Jazz's eyes. She was like, oh, she she thought it was a real question. <laughs> 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 one thing I hate about, like, one thing, uh, like, I have an air fryer, and ever since we got an air fryer, my husband would be like, why don't you just make something in the air fryer as if I put all the ingredients into the air fryer, and the meal will come mm. out done. That's not how the damn air fryer works. It's an oven. <laughs> just put it in the air fryer. He's never picked up a spatula, a fork, a carrot, nothing. But he's just put it in the air. I'm like, that's not how food come together. Hey, that would be cool, though. It would try. be. I, I would. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fish and chips. Then. Okay. <laughs> they're like, not even putting the fish in there. <laughs> Those uh, commercials do look like that, though. Like, there used to be infomercials where it looked like if you put it all in there, it would just work. They did. Yeah, That's I don't crazy. know if they would ever put an air fryer, but I can see how you get confused. So. <laughs> That's, my aunt just sits at QVC and orders everything. It was literally like the first uh, early Postmates. Because it would be just like the last time I saw her, she ordered a pound of churros, and I was like, <laughs> "What?" No, I was serious, and I was just like, "But it takes like a, a long time to get there. Do you even want the churro by the time we get there?" And then also, you have a pound of like a pound of churros. But she'll literally like sit there, and and she got her air fryer, she got like her everything that she gets is off QVC, and it's literally just like Postmates, but for like. People above sixty. Um, my, you- uncle, my uncle had a living room full of QVC stuff. He was just like, "Man, the, the salesmen are there. They be, they make it seem like you can't live if you don't have this." Right? And then they <laughs> literally live without it because they forget about it. It'll be like a waffle holder. And you know the people, um, the hosts on QVC get like eighty to hundred k. 
Yeah. Really? Yes. I applied yeah. for a job there once. Yes. Did Even you really? You have to have sales skills. You have to be able to like talk about something, you see it and like explain it and like come off the cuff. What's great about like you just have to keep talking. Wow. <laughs> what would Jasmine sell if she was a QVC? Honey, anything, honey. I put on my white woman voice voice and sell every all that shit. I mean they sold everything. <laughs> okay, air fryers go. Okay, guys, what we have today is oh, you're whoa. not going to believe it. You're not going <laughs> to believe it. It's so easy. You need, it's so easy. You cut your vegetables. We already have them here. <laughs> you just laugh for no reason and shit. Like, that, I would be the soul there. They'd be like, I like Yo, her. Yo, key, they do, they one. do, um, they do be saying easy like that because that gets your mind. It is so easy, so easy. You be like, it do look easy. Yeah, right? like damn, that was. Easy. <laughs> They're brainwashing old people. Easy, <laughs> easy. You won't have to call your nephew easy. Easy. <laughs> Let me tell you how hard cutting vegetables is. Forget the air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. That's a good place for us to start. Uh, thank you guys for watching Squadcast. Just to let y'all know, we got two new guests in the building. We got Mr. BT Kingsley. What up? What up, dude? And Jasmine W. What up? Hey. All right, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> this past year has caused a lot of stress. All right, and you know what stress causes? Hair loss. In fact, two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time that they're 35. 35! Two out of three of us? Listen, fellas, you better get on this because the best way to keep your hair is prevention. And the best way to start prevention is with Keeps. Keeps offers a simple, stress-free way to keep your hair. It's convenient virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. Makes it so you don't even have to leave your home. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? This is low cost treatment starting at just ten dollars a month and keeps offers generic versions. All right, you get discreet packaging and proven results. Keeps has more five star reviews than any of its competitors. Okay, but again. Prevention is key. Treatments can take up to four to six months to see results. So act fast. Don't wait till you're sitting in the barber seat and he looking at you and you looking at him and he looking at you and he says, I right, said, so what are we going to try to do today? Okay? Don't let it get to that point. This is something that people go through. All right? Let's normalize keeping your hair. All right? There's nothing wrong with that. More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from some form of male pattern baldness. Do you understand what I'm saying? 50 million people that's, that's a lot of people. And there are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers both. What are you waiting on? Hmm? What are you waiting on? Absolutely nothing. Let me tell you something. I started to see this go back a little bit. You think I didn't hop on that Keeps? Immediately? You think I didn't? And now, now you, see, you see the headline still strong. You see your boy out here still working hard with it, right? Okay? Because I didn't want to be in that situation with the barber. All right, I'm not going to let, let him look at me and I look at him and then him look at me and ask me a question that I'm not ready to answer. And you don't have to do that either. So if you're ready to take action to prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com, keeps dot com slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to get and receive your first month of treatment for free. That's right, absolutely free. That's keeps dot com slash squad to get your first month free. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash squad. All right, welcome back. Now, would you rather get a paper cut every time you turn a page or would you rather bite your tongue every time you eat? Are you biting your tongue just once a meal? <laughs> every time you eat. I think maybe once a scoop, no? Because it says every time you turn the page. So isn't that equivalent to one scoop? Well, I was about to say, does this count for like your phone? Like turning pages on like a, a, a browser or something like that because if that's the case that's a lot different i don't be turning physical pages too much exactly Pat. <laughs> but, but what about rolling papers are those counting because those are pages of mm. but i'm not going money. through them like which one do i would i like to right. <laughs> that's true i guess no, you just, rolling papers count let's make rolling papers you count. just pick yeah, out I'm every time you go to roll up a, a spliff pat you get a paper cut also oh, do people man. still say spliff yeah, if, you, if you're if you're smoking a spliff, I don't be smoking a spliff. What is a spliff? I don't know. Yeah, what is a spliff? It has tobacco in it. 
Oh, really? Cigarette? Yeah, because people <laughs> people from the um, East Coast, the weed wasn't really strong, so they had to put like a tobacco in it so that they can get like a like a head high. Oh wait, so, it's tobacco and weed. It's weed with like um, you'll like people will take with a, a cigarette laced with tobacco. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> 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 they lace themselves. Yeah. Guys, ah. what do they call it when you put a little like cocaine or crack in it? That's, That's lace. lace. That, does that have a special? Laced, yes. Oh, That's not a, it's but not it don't okay. have a splitty. It's not a splitty or a dizzy or nothing. It's like not that. a fun name for it because no. uh, <laughs> it's it's pretty wild. And a lot of times people don't know that people are doing it, which is why you should always watch someone roll it. Which is exactly mm. why I don't smoke weed because I think somebody had laced. Uh, I did a shotgun. You don't smoke because no one's ever offered it to you. <laughs> <laughs> so, smoking with Meg should be like, man, y'all, y'all want to smoke, and then we could conjugate some verbs. You're like, man, never Wait, mind. No. Hold on, your saliva <laughs> goes on the whole thing when you. That roll. that was a terrible that that part, what? man. That's post a rough part of the pitch. That's they, a they burn it off though, right? <laughs> I mean, it all goes away really with the burn it off, or is that just for like placebo effect? Like, ah, it's clean now. <laughs> Taste the person who spit on it. You don't taste it, right? Taste it. Yeah, like when you smoke it, you don't feel like, oh man, you had Jack in the Box. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would ruin the whole experience. Oh, um, man. You're no, a I pound of churros. I don't really know what spit tastes like, to be honest. But I, I put my fingers there, and I, I hit my fingers. I don't be putting my mouth on other people. Hold on, you don't oh. know what spit tastes like, That's except my own. That's a lie. But yeah, you kiss people, you taste your own spit. That's that another thing. Jasmine, I, I, that's a, let's go back in time on this. Who was the first person like, let me lick your tongue. Let me see what that's about. Like somebody back in the Bible days was like, what if we did this? And then put they my were mouth like, in her mouth. <laughs> that's <laughs> weird. That's like, like a crazy, it's a crazy paper, pitch. It sounds horrible. It's like, why? Because I like you. What? <laughs> No, but that I just seems ate. completely normal to me. <laughs> That's like I just ate stuff though for with, with... <laughs> <laughs> another hole, maybe? Oh, well, maybe no. Eskimo kisses were tried first and then they were like, this is dumb. I'm horny. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be closer, like like in your mouth. Your your mouth is my mouth. <laughs> All right, I mean, okay, okay. Y'all the first, the first dude that tried to slip some tongue though is hilarious thought. <laughs> or two, Why are you saying it's a woman, guy? A two yeah. saint or a woman. Hey, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing new to me. Oh, you're saying that it was all smooches before that? Just all lips? Yes, it was all pecs. And then some, some girl like, meh. <laughs> <laughs> but there's more. <laughs> How they do it, BT? <laughs> but I mean, I guess it would be that'd be a French person, right? It would have had to, to be. be. Oh yeah, had to be. French what if kisser? the French didn't really start French kissing, but somebody was like, "It's Austrian, but it's disgusting." So we're gonna say French. I oh, bet the French people were like, "Man, romance is our whole thing. We got Paris. We got you know, we're just really Paris. So we're gonna keep it." <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's, that's part of their whole marketing rollout <laughs> is the whole romance thing. You think other countries were like, hey, do you hear what they were doing in French? They, they in France, they kissing with the tongue. You want to try? <laughs> it's like blowing up like it's hot on the <laughs> That's what I think about like eating butt, man. That that eating butt in my lifetime has taken a turn where it was like never talked about ever. Nobody it wasn't even a possibility. And then it was like, I feel like the per first person who openly said it was spoken reason that I remember. Who like owned it? He was like, I eat butt in the shower, and people were like, Nah, nah. And then like now it's like, Yeah, man, people just do this. Why have it? Why was it like eating butt like credited with a location though? Because the French kiss was. Oh but yeah. Eating I butt it was Florida. Just eating butt. <laughs> it's not Florida. Eating butt was just eating I like butt. Florida, the kiss, the Canadian kiss. I, I feel like it should have like wherever hey, it was. Oh, it. gotcha. It's got to be alliteration. <laughs> but what do you mean, yeah, like, like a joke? Like a, no, no, like a, a, the same letter. Like, yeah, yeah, you got the Boston butt lick. Oh, that's what they're doing down in Boston. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
I feel like it's a better sales pitch if it if it has alliteration. The, <laughs> the, the Russian rim job. The Russian yeah. rim job. <laughs> that's such an aggressive. I don't like this. The first that's person like who had to eat butt. Well, I mean, the first person ate butt had to be a man. Why? Oh yeah. Because he was probably like eating a, uh, his girl out. He was like, "What if I kept going?" <laughs> You think she he was like, like, hey, whoa. What if it was an right. accident? And he was like, oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> wait, did I, I, I go too far? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you know what? Yeah, do that again. <laughs> it was dark. He was, he was probably eating that butt like, damn, this is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no sir. One's gonna, no one's going to believe me. <laughs> but the, like, the reality is the first person wasn't like, hey, wait, what are you doing? The per first person was like, hell yeah. Like, That's or true. Why, did, why would he keep doing it? That's true, because there probably was no shame, because there's no reason to be ashamed of it, because you're the first person. Well, what if the first person was a girl, and then her, that was her reaction, like, oh, this is nuts. And he was like, no, 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 no. That wasn't my nuts. Hey, you went way past that. Yeah, below the net. You is way lower than that. Uh, the first, any type of oral must have been crazy. Cause I feel like at there must have been a point in time where it was just sex. And then somebody put a dick in their mouth. <laughs> Bro, literally. <laughs> that's how it had to happen. <laughs> that's a crazy, like it's a crazy visual. We've just been like, hold on, I'm gonna try some. Hey, oh, why? Mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> the first person to like do the down thing, like, <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you looking at my? Oh, oh! <laughs> if I, you know what? Oddly enough, though, uh, 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 that happening doesn't seem as weird as the first French kiss. The first, no, like, no, that's a that's a good point, BT. Yeah, the first tongue. And somebody's on somebody's tongue feels more awkward than uh, oh you're already having sex. It's just like well put it here. Well what about this? What about this? I don't hmm. know. Just because hey, y'all was just standing up kissing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, man? I don't know. Just just go just go with it. <laughs> just go with it. <laughs> they probably tried uh, all tongue with no lips, and then they had to like dial back and be like, let's yeah. try it. Let's try a mixture of the two. It's I think about the first pumps too. Like, what if the first guy was like, you just put it in, didn't know the pump. He's just like, all right, I'm in here now. So <laughs> and just <laughs> stay there, like just put it in like a thermometer. All right. So what oh, is how did you all... that, no, that's what I always like a thermometer? <laughs> <laughs> how did the first person that had sex or well, like Adam and Eve for this example? Like, how did they know penis went in vagina? I'm right. I, I'm so curious about Adam because he probably like okay we're naked all right cool all right so I have okay so this goes out what's up, what's up with that line what's in there? <laughs> <laughs> like, most, most of the, most of the things animal? we see as humans yeah we see animals do it like eating food or whatever we see animals oh, do it true. and then we're like oh okay so really it was like mm -hmm. what was the first like animal that was like that's a good point, Jasmine. Because maybe Adam and Eve were doing doggy style, and then the, the dogs were like, "Oh snap, we should be doing it that way." <laughs> but then people called it doggy style, when really Adam and Eve is really human style. Well, no, that's the only that's the only position dogs can do. Dogs can't do cowgirl. That'd be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> dogs could do cowgirl. They would. They know how to position. They, they know how to can't go full missionary for sure. You, you missionary know. maybe. <laughs> But not cowgirl, like st sitting up. <laughs> oh, I'm holding, done. Holding their little boobs, <laughs> bouncing up. If you saw boobs. a dog sitting on mounting, <laughs> like looking for it, <laughs> that'd be nuts. You'd be like, "Yo, fight him!" <laughs> Yo, it's the <laughs> paw. It's the paw reaching for it to put it in. That's what it is. no. <laughs> <laughs> a dog. I don't want to think about my dog like this. Right. Oh, your dog, dog gets a back and, the paw, and the paws touch it all like eight nipples. Like that's a lot. Do dogs the have dog slide out? Are they like God, man? You keep oh, sliding out. <laughs> the dog did reverse cowgirl. Yeah. I'm glad my dog is faded because I wouldn't. I wouldn't be okay if Hazel was a hoe just out there giving it up, getting the little dog back blown out. 
<laughs> Why that? Yeah, puppy Every time I walked her, the other dogs looking at her like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I we, <laughs> yeah, we all know Hazel. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you take it to the dog park, everybody. What's up, Hazel? <laughs> ruff, ruff, Hazel. Hey, oh, before, I man. before I forget, since we're talking about the first ever people to have sex. Who do you think was the first person to like beat it up though? Because like I feel like sex, <laughs> sex at first was just very vanilla, like very just like four babies, and then at some at some point somebody was just like, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was just like, yo, what the? <laughs> that looks crazy. That looks fun. <laughs> We're taking credit for this, bro. Oh, Black bro. men are taking credit for this. <laughs> Because look, all the white kings like that was had all these women, they weren't doing no work. No. And in slavery, the first time that a nigga hit a slave master's wife, that was the first dude to beat it no. up. Right? It was all that. revenge. It's like, I'll show you. <laughs> they heard that coming from the chambers. <laughs> the house, and they were just like, yo, is that sex? Who's fighting in here? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. Would you rather get a paper cut every time you eat? <laughs> okay. Or bite your tongue every time you eat? I'd <laughs> rather get a paper cut. Wait, are we not counting electronic paper too? No, no we, we can't. We can get a cut for that, Pat. But we have to eat every day. We don't have to physically touch paper every day. That's right. why I'm sick choosing paper. I, mean, I could, I could like go a long time mail, without turning like, that. I don't know, getting your mail. I don't even check the mail hardly ever. Me neither. I guess packages, but like actual, all my actual mail is electronic now. All the bills and stuff is all electronic. It's usually mail just has, junk mail. Mail's gotten so desperate too. Like, you know, if there's that, no junk mail, there probably wouldn't be a postal service. Like, the junk like, mail is what keeps the mail going. Like, right. Urgent, please open. That you, there's consequences in here. <laughs> please. <laughs> it's like, urgent, this is please our is last hilarious. time we're going to tell you. <laughs> But there's no, there's nothing. The happening. ones that chip that trip me out are the ones that look like you got a check, and then it'd be like you could deposit this in a rebate. Like <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't want to have to spend money on a new car to get three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what you picking, Kev? Uh, paper cut. Uh, right. Paper cut, because I don't be doing dealing with paper that much. All right, Jasmine. Paper cut. Pat. Paper cut. B -B. I don't read. Definitely paper cut. I love wings and sometimes they be spicy. I can't have spicy stuff in my cut up tongue. But yes, I was gonna say, I choose a uh, paper cut too. Cause you can put a bandaid on that. You can't put no bandaid on a cut in your mouth. Yeah. Right. All you right. Wear gloves. <laughs> right. Unanimous paper cuts have it. Uh, we'll be back right after this. With everything opening back up, man, people are gonna be taking more trips. They're gonna be going to the gym, which means they're gonna be listening to music audio books, and the podcast. That's why you should get yourself a pair of Raycon wireless earbuds in your ear, man. They gonna make the difference. You get that crisp, powerful beats at half the price of other audio premium brands. Raycons look great and they feel even better. And they come in a bunch of cool colors with customizable gel tips that are included to fit comfortably in your ear. And Raycons are built to go wherever you go with quick and seamless Bluetooth pairing in a compact charging case. And I just love the fact that they're easily portable and they got that 24 hour battery life. That's what you need. Cause I'm using them all day. I'm hitting the gym, I'm going for a run, then I'm running errands all day. They help me with the soundtrack for my life. That's what, they, that's what they're for, baby, it's what I use them for. All right, so listen up. Raycon is offering 15% off for all Squadcast listeners. Here's what you have to do to get it. Just go to buyraycon.com slash squad. There, you'll get 15% off your whole Raycon order. And it's such a good deal, you'll want to grab a pair and a spare. So that's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash squad. That's buy, B-U-Y, Raycon, R-A-Y-C-O-N, dot com, slash squad, S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D. Let's get it. All right, so we are back. The next topic, would you rather eat pizza for a year, like every day, versus no pizza for five years? Oh, you have to eat it exclusively for a year? Yes. Like okay. every day or every meal? No, like every day, like once a day. You gotta have it at least once a day. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'd rather go five years without pizza, okay. and I love pizza. But 
There's hardly anything that's good every single day, once a day, uh-huh. except you like, like wings cereal. What if he we did wings it and had like, and we took like a Tostino's pizza roll, like a pill every day, just ah, to that's meet, a good, just to meet that's our, a good uh, uh requirement. They that's have bagel good. bites, bagel bites too. That counts. One bagel bite or whatever, just to get it out the way as an appetizer, then you can go on about your business. So wait, so you can eat whatever you want as long as you do have pizza every day. Yeah. Oh, this is easy. You see, okay, I guess you could have a very small slice of pizza. Mm-hmm. Like to Pat's point, you you know, like remember when we was in in school, pizza party slices are like, okay, man, y'all done made eighty seven slices out of this one Those, bar. It was like <laughs> I waited till Friday for this. <laughs> It's like, like, bro, it'd be like, you don't turn one slice into six <laughs> slices for kids. I ain't even, you can't even get a whole pepperoni on this. I got a sliver of pepper. They made, then they start doing the, the squares. Sliver of pep. Cutting the circle into squares. So then you would think you have more, but you really yeah. Need. yeah. I like the squares though. This way. If it's Man, Christian. my youth, when I, when I was a Bible study teacher, bro, Little Caesar saved my life. You talk about 10 bucks. That goes a long 20 bucks. Oh, we're good, kids. Come on, man. <laughs> Fridays in public school is like my favorite day. Favorite. Low key. Uh, Speaking of pizza, the you talking about you talking about pizza parties, Meg, or like the pizza that's no, no, like lunch? the like the at lunchtime, the one oh like, the square so, with the sausage. Yes. Or they had the little pepperoni or it was cheese. You talking about the breakfast? No, the breakfast pizza lunch. was amazing. That's what I'm talking about, I think, BT. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's I that I wonder if that's the text thing with the add like a under the white cheese. Sauce. It wasn't gravy. Yes, it was white Jasmine. Sauce. It had the white sauce. With the white sauce. I wonder that's if that slaps right now though, because it as a would. kid I was like, bro, that is they, this is just the creme de la creme, oh, it's man. The, it's gravy. That's what it is. The white sauce is. Yeah, gravy. Jasmine, where you from? I'm from Dallas, honey. I yeah, I that to, might have been a Texas was, thing, bro. Yeah, me and Jasmine are both from Texas. Both, both. Oh, me too. I'm from Houston. So yeah, yeah, I'm from El Paso. El Paso counts too, huh? Right, guys? Yes. El Paso yes. does not count. Yes, it does, guys. <laughs> why? Old... What? Why do y'all not try? Like other cities in Texas don't be it's having a Mexico. high. No, that's why. It's a part of Mexico. Houston and Dallas also have high Hispanic cultures. Uh, no, but cultures. they not next to Mexico like that. Corpus so Christi next to Mexico. You right? I'm there. actually an eighth Mexican in real life, though. What? Uh, Come on, yeah. Stop. My granddad is half. Oh wow! So that makes my mom a quarter, and which makes wow. me an eighth, right? Wow! Something oh like no, that. that, that's like cocaine. Yeah, I used to man, you the way you just did it. Does, I used your to grand, speak. does your grandpa look like half Mexican? No. Oh really? He's dead now, so he he probably deteriorated. I don't know, you know what, what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> in pictures do he look half mexican no uh, the answer was still no uh, hmm. there's some darker skinned mexicans um yeah. and there's a really light mexicans mm-hmm. so who was that your grandpa my grandpa's ha- half mexican so your great grandfather is full mexican or, or mother yeah i think have you Greg, seen pictures of them no i didn't go past on that side of the family there's no memories or pictures past my grandpa that's kind of sad there's just yeah like a, a crazy story no one remembers i'll tell you a crazy story my my granddad name was andre fredericks right so when i'm tracing my ancestry learning about it I'm, I'm tracing the name fredericks 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 when i was like 20 i found out that he got into something and he changed his name to um i'm sorry his he changed his name from Frederick Anderson to Andre Fredericks. So Ooh. actually past my life, I was I was an Anderson. So my ancestry, I was going way off the wrong side because oh. after him, the family's called Anderson, but but then it was too late. On he just died. lived his name. That's what's so wild about back in that time. Like I'm mad wow. at him. Uh, the, the dude, he just changed his name. He was like, I'm going by this now. And people were like, okay. Like nobody yeah. had no way of checking that. People but, would just go to a new city and say, this is my name. Yeah. And then people would be his like, his last okay. name was, he didn't change his own last name, just his, everybody after him. He changed his own last name and then got married and then everybody went down. I don't know how he changed the ID or that part. I don't know legally what he did or all that stuff. Wow. He, just, he just wrote it on his, here my new ID. But I thought you, yeah. I feel that's, like that. That's hilarious. That's how you change your ID, just erase <laughs> it on your ID. Um, <laughs> wait, but I thought you thought his name was Frederick Anderson. It was. So he changed he his moved. name to Frederick Fredericks? 
No, he changed it to Andre Fredericks. He took the Andrew the Oh, he flipped them. He flipped the names. And what? the first thought I had, and I know it's a dumb one, I was like, if I was Anderson, I would have been first in line all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you could just change and he did it before he had kids. So he just changed it. And then he entered he met my grandma and and she only knew him as that name. And I don't know where he came from or any of that stuff. His his story starts with that. That's he I, I didn't somebody. know you could do that. He killed somebody. Yeah, he definitely killed somebody. Uh, he probably deserved it. Maybe he had to. <laughs> yeah. Just be like, my last name is Patrick's now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Huh. You could go by Houston. You could, hey man, I'm Houston Patrick. Okay. Hey Houston. Because Houston. Houston. you actually yeah. have a, a name that can be a first name. Your last name can be a first name. Exactly. But then like a hundred years from now, ancestry dies with me. Yes. It's like you, you'd stop looking for the Patrick's and it's that's, <laughs> I ruined everything. <laughs> exactly. I wish I could do that, but people would be like, Jasmine's? Your name's Sarah Jasmine's? <laughs> no. <Nah, laughs> we're not buying that. That's we ain't buying that. Name. <laughs> okay. So I was getting into stripper. Man, Scoop what's Megan. your last name again? I was like Scoop Megan, but that's Thomas. 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 Be Tom. Oh, you got a first name too. Tom Megs. Oh, you got a man's first Tom name. Tom Megan's. My uncle's name is Megan. Tom Thomas, his birth name. Oh boy, wow. they just didn't take no time with him. Like, just <laughs> Tom, man. Creative. We really got. It's like, it's we got other stuff to do. It's not Tommy. It's his real first name is just Tom. Is Tom. it T H O M or T O M? T O M. Tom Thomas is your your uncle's his given really name. Name. I was like, oh, my grandma had ten kids. I think she was just tired. She was like, whatever. Was super <laughs> tired. <laughs> That's like my kid, name though. being Fred. Fred. You the baby. Fred. Fred no, Fred. he wasn't the baby. He was uh, actually the twins right before the baby. Like, yeah. How you run out of Ooh. names after nine nine names though? That's not that I, many. He's tired. He had a lot of kids. Like what? No, it was okay. twins. That's what it was. He was the I second remember. twin, and she didn't know you. Who is another one? Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's <laughs> <Nice to> remember. <laughs> I have a question for y'all. For like, cause Tom Cat. So we don't ever. I never knew his name was Tom until I was an adult. And my and because we always called him Uncle Cat. Tom. Cat. <laughs> What's your question, Jasmine? I have a question. Okay, so especially for like Kev and like Patrick and BT, even Meg, y'all all have a lot of huge followings. Whenever I order food now, I'm just so par I'd be paranoid. I use a different name. So when people deliver on to Postmates? my house on Postmates, <laughs> on Uber, on when I order food, do you guys use a, an alias name whenever you order food and you're like going to pick it up or have it delivered to your house? I, I use my wife's Postmates most of the time. Uh, okay. I've had some terrible, some crazy fan experiences uh, when I didn't live in a uh, gated community. One time I ordered some food. He delivered it. This is before the drop off. That's why I like the pandemic has given us drop it at the door. So now yeah. I don't, I, I never answer the door when I order food anymore. Mm. But the dude dropped my food off, gave it to me, didn't say nothing unusual. Mm. Then two minutes later, he called me through the app. So I thought he had forgot something. And he was like, yo, Kev, man, I'm sorry, bro. I'm a big fan. I didn't want to say nothing. Do you mind coming back outside and taking a picture? Oh, wow. that's weirder. And I was like, uh, okay. yeah, man. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. What? I did it because he had me dead to rights. I was just like, wow. ah. Because he was like, I'm just still in the driveway. So if you don't mind coming back out. Oh, <laughs> wow. And if you don't, I'm going to see you later. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> How many stars you give him? Nigga. I gave him five stars, Meg. He knows where oh I live. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Also, I give everybody five stars, regardless. I just, people are, yeah, people are having a hard time. Boundaries. People are having a hard I don't, time. I'm not gonna... You have to really be bad for me to do that. Because, like, for me to be like, yeah, four stars. It's just like, it seems kind of dickish. <laughs> I never give anything less than five stars. And most of the food stuff isn't the driver's fault. It's almost always the restaurant's fault. Right. For forgetting Ooh. something. Uh, I don't. And, I I go pick up food. I I, I stopped. I but even when you I, pick up food, you use your you use you don't use yeah, yeah. Kingsley though. No, no, I just say King. Okay. I just say King. Well, I, Megan, why do you go I BT? My, I don't use my stage name. I most people don't really recognize Megan Thomas is a really plain, boring name. So most yeah, people, sure. Yeah, I don't like. I, I I didn't like the feel of. Deliver the people delivering food now don't work in the food industry, so they're just they don't like 
their cooth is all over the place. Like I ordered groceries one time and they sat my shit in the dirt, bro. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> raw chicken just in the dirt. I went pick it up. It was like slugs on the bag. I was like, Fucking damn. And they gave me like all the money back, but I was hot. So like, if they can't get in my gate, they'll just like this. I don't want to be able to put it like in the front. I'm like, yo, listen, I want you to bring it all the way to my door, like pizza delivery. I right. want it to be encased in something. So I just can't take it anymore. I just go pick it up. They're not that far. I'll go get it. Yeah. I'll you order don't do Instacart it. anymore? Hmm? You don't do Instacart anymore? No. No, no, no. I still do groceries now. I still do groceries, but the, the, <laughs> here's the problem with groceries. <laughs> when they have to bring 12 of these, they be hot. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you get them in bulk. Ah. So I like over tip because I know y'all mad. You really get those in bulk? <laughs> yes. Why not just get a filter and refill it up? They don't taste the same. <laughs> <laughs> that that's on it. Who were the? Are you okay, flexing so now, him right now? He's like, now, now I feel them. like you. Ha your apartment is hoarders. <laughs> yeah. How many do BT you drink a day, you. BT? One. What the. Why are you not reaching that far for all of you? <laughs> <laughs> Just Why all within a bend. Put all them away, BT reset. Why are you not reaching that far? <laughs> He's like, oh, that was my P one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> BT hasn't wow. left that chair in like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Is that is that special type? Is that like pH balanced water or alcohol? So it's just drinking. I don't do uh I don't do spring water. Uh, Wait, taste... why? Spring water is so good for you. It's probably great, but it don't taste good. Flavor first in my life. Flavor <laughs> first. So what is BT, that? BT, do you still eat your dessert first? Yes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you sound like me and my dad. We do that first. That's so I problematic. BT, BT told me that he ate his dessert first, and the pitch was so good. I was like, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you sit down at a restaurant and when they're like, would you like some water? They're like, I'd like the dessert menu, please. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> give, me, give me, first of all, bring a bazooki out here and then <laughs> come back with the wine menu. <laughs> come back with the wine menu. <laughs> That's trifling as hell. Do you do that on dates? Yes. <laughs> I do it every time I go eat. I don't need what to make room for, I'm, I don't need to make room for the meal. I'm going to eat the food. I might not get to dessert if I don't have it first. So you you dead ass on a date yes. ordered like a pie first. Cheesecake first. And looked at her dead in her face and still <laughs> tried to Why date. Why is she eating asparagus? You eating the cheesecake. She, well, she ain't got her food yet. But it'd be right when the cheese sticks come, then my I'm already finishing That's my first. your appetizer dessert. is dessert. She's eating bread. She's eating so bread. when the wings come out and the free bread is on the table, you are you are halfway through the strawberry cheesecake. Oh, man. <laughs> as soon as the wings come, then it's what cheesecake? <laughs> Wait, do you Hold share? On. You share your dessert? I'll share. Give her. Yeah, probably get <laughs> you. You almost denied it a, a fake woman. Yeah. <laughs> Much no. about the dessert was. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So do you not finish your food? Do you take your food home? Is it because no, I finish everything? I be eating, man. I, 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 hold on, hold on. A question. <laughs> if you, you're gonna finish everything, then does it? Why does it matter what order it comes? I don't like sweet food. So like, I, so I'm gonna do the the sugary sweet first, right out the gate. But I thought you didn't like, like sweet. What you mean? Sweet food. Yeah, that's why, no, I'm saying I don't want it together. Like on my plate, I don't want it on my palate No, no I'm saying why, because the, the dessert would still come later. You said I may not have room for dessert, but then that would also mean that you may not have room for your dinner, but you're saying you have room. He powers through once the dessert is done. He can't power <laughs> through. He can't power through for <laughs> dessert. But he That's can like power through. Backwards. The dessert is like a little meal. It's like, oh, okay, sweet stuff, fine. I, gum, perhaps. But <laughs> you could you you're equating a slice of cheesecake <laughs> to, to gum. 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 <laughs> uh, Wrigley's pineapple cheesecake. It's, it's all the same. 
BT's the only person who eats the dessert and then gets the chips and salsa to go. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't have room for these appetizers. Can you keep <laughs> keep <laughs> the, the free bread got to go home. <laughs> do, the, you know do the waiters be looking at you like, you know, wait, what now? Or do they think that you're coming only for dessert? They they think Meg was just there. They was like, oh, this makes perfect sense. <laughs> they probably they probably look at BT and then look at the date. Like, are you are you do you know about this? <laughs> do, so, do you know about this? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's something you do when somebody fall in love with you, BT. You don't do that on a date. You know, like that. Uh, that's my husband. He eat dessert first, kind of thing. Right. If I'm on a date <laughs> and you order dessert first and I just got a cocktail or my cocktail hadn't even come, I'd be like, you know what? I'm leaving this nigga. This nigga don't want to be on a date with me. Like, he want dessert. BT has big take me as I am energy. I don't feel like BT is. Yeah, that's good. This is how I do it. If you don't like it, I'm going to still be here eating dessert. You can go now. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm going to be happy because I got dessert in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> if you, do if you, you do that on a if you do that on a date, it makes it seem like you came more for the food, though, than to, yeah. like, try to get to know the, the, the yeah. Give or take where the place is. Like, you you know at Yard House, they have, like, the regular size, and then they'll have, like, the mini desserts. So you can get, like, a the little apple crumble. I'll fuck around order three or four of those. <laughs> well, then just order the regular size. For you? <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll refill it. Like, you, and mind you, Kev, I'm not drinking. So every time she orders it, can you bring another one of little cheese? OK, them? keep them coming. <laughs> When BT Amen. goes like this, he's not talking about alcohol. Just like, <laughs> he's talking about cheese. Keep my tab another, open. Another round of, of cheesecake skirt? Yes, yes, <laughs> another round. You want no, anything? No. Yeah, I'll just take another lemon drop. Uh, yeah, let me take another ham. BT be like, when you see this one empty, bring me another one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see the bottom. BT okay. ordering this dessert, like, yeah, let me get an uh, apple this pie. This never happened before, but this is too true. It <laughs> 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 just has a, a BT Kingsley bib. <laughs> <laughs> he bring it. Oh, my date left 20 minutes ago? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Keep going. I'm getting this. BT has, base. has a woman ever reacted like Jasmine was saying? Have they ever been like really taken back and it like shifted the whole energy of the date? They're normally kind of, they're a little weirded out by it, but normally they'll join in and then they they'll probably start doing it after. They might not admit it, but it was like, oh, no, this was. This is different. I was like, yeah, get the So what do you tell them when you, when you're like, yeah, let me get the cheesecake? And they're like, what, what, what? What do you say to like uh, <laughs> you, to dissuade them from leaving? You, <laughs> it's all uphill battle from there. You've had you've had like a bad dinner at a restaurant before. Very rarely do you get a bad dessert. So when dessert come out, joy hits the room. It was just like <laughs> A brownie with just ice cream on top, and this ain't gonna be bad. We all know that this is gonna be great. So your sweet spot of conversation is between the order and the first pie coming out, because that's really where it's make or break. <laughs> I bet the women are like, when the women are like, you know, let me get a cocktail, let me get a, a sidecar, and maybe mozzarella sticks, and BT's like, yeah, let me get a, a water and the seven layer chocolate cake. <laughs> I imagine the woman be like, hold on, wait, wait. You ordered, yeah, 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 it's cool. She look at the drink menu like, I don't see that on here. Okay. <laughs> you you never... want to end it. You want to end like, oh, wait, so we cutting it short? I thought we was doing like whole dinner. We just doing dessert and go home. Okay. <laughs> BT's like, no, we're doing the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing the entire thing. Yeah, chicken up right there. Chicken is going to be pretty good. <laughs> She's All right, y'all. What is this? Uh, we got to get through this. Eat pizza for a year. Oh. No pizza for five years. What are you picking, Jazz? Like ice cream pizza or just a regular pizza? <laughs> what? Pizza, pizza. <laughs> Jazz. Pizza, man, pizza. Um, this is actually really hard for me because I really like pizza. Um, right. You know what? I'll probably just eat a little pizza every day, actually, for a year. Okay, Patrick. I got, I do got pizza tatted on, on my body. You do have pizza tatted, and it's yeah, like a good looking body. cartoon slice of pizza, and that's can a, we see? Let's, can we see? It's on my legs. So I don't know what I would do, oh. I, and oh. I ain't lifted my leg on here. I, I oh, it's know okay. Where that's going. <laughs> 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 I I've walked into plenty of trap on this. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, but, what's it open, man? <laughs> I thought I you was gonna say it was on your hip or trap. something. 
Um, I feel like eating, open, bro. <laughs> I feel like eating any amount of pizza every single day is crazy unhealthy. So I would just take the L. I'll do the time, do the year, get myself together, and then I'll come back strong. When you I get go out. five years without pizza. five years, no, mm. one year without pizza. No, Wait, it's five years without pizza. Five Pat. pizza every day, or five years with no pizza. Yeah. Oh man. Sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm eating pizza every day. I'm sorry. Five years is a long time. That is a crazy long time, especially so, to not have pizza. I feel every moment of that year. Man, I feel you, like I, you all you got is trip booked to Chicago and New York. It's gonna be a rough time. <laughs> <laughs> At some point during that, you just stop eating pizza and you don't go back, and you just become one of those people that's like, oh yeah, I used to eat that. Oh so, god! All right, Kev and BT, what y'all choosing? I'm taking Pat's idea, idea and taking a little sliver of pizza every day, like a pill. Like a multivitamin. Just, that's your multi vitamin? No, that's my uh, pop your, pop your pizza and get the day going. Yeah. This is my one a day vitamin pizza. I, I have a different thing. <laughs> Today is supreme. <laughs> Today is vegetarian. Uh, I could de- I would definitely do uh there's a lot of variations for pizza. So I'm gonna do pizza for the year. So ooh, targets always have like the pe- the little pizza hut in it, and they got the original. <laughs> Pizza Hut wings and the little pizzas. Yeah, I I could do that for lunch every day. I'm fuck around and do that as soon as we get off of here. Okay. <laughs> right, I'm pizza. googling. They take a break spinach at one o'clock. Right I ain't showed up at one and they don't be there, so I gotta. Wait. Oh, they got spinach pizza. Jazz, they even have salad pizza. I've only had it once. Never will have it again. But it's still interesting. It's like a I full want... salad on top yeah. of pizza. You ever had the cauliflower pizza? Oh, yeah, that's favorite. that's okay. Like the a crust? cauliflower crust. Oh, the mm-hmm. crust. Yes, I love. It's good. Yes, there's one called Collie pa- Collie Power that you they sell in the freezer. I love it. Okay, yeah. it's ar- it's already done in the freezer or already just- done. They have different yeah. flavors, and so yeah, it's just the crust or the whole pizza. No, no, it's they they sell the crust separately if you want that, or they sell like four I think four flavors of pizza with on the crust. Caveat: If it has to be Domino's pizza, I'll gladly not eat Domino's for. I won't eat pizza again. If it's Domino's, <laughs> I don't want pizza no more. Why do people yeah. hate it that much? I don't. I don't. I love. I, I prefer P- Pizza Hut. I like Domino's pizza now. I don't Domino's. notice the difference, to be honest. I mean, I don't think that like, none of them. T- they all taste different, but they don't taste nasty. I should say to me. Papa John's tastes nasty. Really? Nah, man. Watch Papa out. Papa John's is nasty to me. I like nah, different. Man. Pizza Hut, that. King Pizza. All right, I'm choosing um, eat pizza every day for a year because I love me some pizza. Looks like it's unanimous. So we're some pizza lovers and we'll be right back after this. If there's something interfering you from your happiness or preventing you from reaching your goals, look no further than BetterHelp. BetterHelp will assist your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. And here's the thing, you can start communicating in under 48 hours. And no, this is not a crisis line. This is not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. Now, there is a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. Better help services are available for clients worldwide. Check this out. You can log on to your account at any time. Just leave a message for your counselor and they'll get back to you. They'll give you a timely and thoughtful response. And you can also schedule video calls or just calls once a week. So you won't ever have to sit in that uncomfortable waiting room like a regular therapy session. Also, BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. So they make it easy and comfortable for you to change counselors if needed. More affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. You can even go to their website and read their testimonials, which are posted daily. Just go to betterhelp.com slash reviews. So to get started, visit betterhelp.com slash squad. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash squad. S-Q-U-A-D-D. And join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Matter of fact, so many people are using BetterHelp that they're recruiting counselors in all 50 states. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. And all Squadcast listeners get 10% off their first month. Go to betterhelp.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. Welcome back, y'all. Okay, next category is 
Would you rather listen to a song you hate for a year or listen to no music for a year? That's tough. You got to have one. You got to listen to this song once a day. Yes. Man, y'all, before I answer, y'all remember when your uh, iPhone uh, plugged into the car and it would always play the first song? Mm. That would make you, that would make me hate that. That I had a Miguel yes. song for a while. Then there was a Kanye song until I found this, this dude had made a song called a a a a a a a and it's eight minutes of silence so that you wouldn't, uh, if you forgot to do your music, you wouldn't hear anything and then you could go and shuffle it. So sometimes you can, the point I'm bringing up is listen to a song every day. If you always hear it, you can hate a song that you didn't feel a way about. Right. Mm -hmm. But having to listen to a song you actually hate every day, like it's Friday, Friday, got to get back on Friday. That song that, and I love, I, I would probably have to do that because to not listen to music, I can't, I cannot go. Right. I, I, I have so many times where I have to listen to music. Wait, what would be the song that you, like you hate the most? Which one song, or name the song? Ooh, I got one. What is it? It'd be This Is How We Do It by Montel. What? Wow. what? You I can't stand that damn song. I'm kind but of it's Friday it. night and it's Arbacar. Jasmine. Oh my God. That is my karaoke song. Jasmine. <laughs> what? Did you always not like it? It's just, it, no. Uh, it's, it's also, it's about how much white people love that song too. It's like, as soon as it comes on, they're like, <gasps> it's like, oh my God, here we go. I can't stand it. Yeah, they got a lot of, it got, they had the same reaction to like Return of the Mac too. Oh, oh I love Return of the Mac. I, like I love too, but they, but white people love like Return of the Mac. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> I love how Jazz was like, it's not so much about the song, it's white people's <laughs> enjoyment that really makes it hard for me. It's like, just, like that's always the I don't song that I've comes ever, on. I've never heard a black person say they don't like that song. I can't say that song. <laughs> I'm like, ready to uh, sit down. It's uh, the song after that. What was his second single? The It's On Tonight or something like that? Louis, yeah, thanks, so, yeah. I'm looking at you. Oh, I like that song. I can't think of that his second single. I know that song. Yeah. yeah. He also randomly wrote a song that's really surprising that he wrote. Uh, dang it, I can't remember what it was now. Y'all know that song, and it's all right. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is that Montel Jordan? Yes. I love that song. I don't like that. I, I love that. I was just—I didn't know if she had a problem with just six, eight singers or, or what they. <laughs> no, Victor Oladipo been to ever drop an album. <laughs> <laughs> Victor uh, Oladipo was such a specific person to be six. Yeah, I'm trying to think of tall ass singers. I, uh, I, I'm trying to think of what song it would be. It'll probably be something like grunge metal or country. Would try, probably like annoy the hell out of me like it's like this gonna be a lot if it was just <laughs> like that one of them songs i'd be like you sound like a dog stuck, stuck in a trash can <laughs> like a cartoon dog that'd be talking like oh and then somebody <laughs> starts screaming yeah I, that might be a lot every what if you have to listen to it every day at the same time like what if oh it was, man that's tough that's just it sucks. Is, yeah. I don't know what my favorite, my worst song ever is. That's a great question. I, I think I, I, I'm with BT. If it was like a heavy metal song that I had to see every day, I'd be so Oh, I know what song I hate. Um, Peaches and Cream. Slim's voice is just the worst. <laughs> Pieces of cream. I'll be like, oh. <laughs> I love that song. Wow, Kev, I thought we was better than this, bro. Yeah. We're not, BT Kingsley. Oh, wow. you slandered 112. Just Slim the, specifically of 112. <laughs> the beat on that song, the thing. That's just the best part of the I'm whole song. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what's work, what's wrong with that, Jasmine. It starts off great until Slim jumps in, <laughs> and I'm just like, man, we had a good thing going. We had a good thing going. Uh, I would probably have to. I would probably have to pick something from John Legend. You don't like John Legend? <laughs> I never liked John. Legend. I Not even ordinary people. 
Ordinary right. People is a, is a good song. His voice is just too spooky for me, man. It's just, <laughs> it's just, it just sounds like- saw McGraw had a good joke about that. <laughs> he said he sounds like a poltergeist. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He sounds ghoulish. So hey. ghoulish. What? Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> That's just terrifying. It's hard to listen. It. I can get that though, Pat, because I don't like ballads. Like in general, like I don't like like, oh. like beautiful, like ballady songs. And Hold John on, does it a lot. So you hear a ballad, you're like, oh, here they go again with every you. every <laughs> musician felt like they needed one. One album is mine, and you're just like, oh, it's like, ding. and then <laughs> I would say, other than that, uh, sign sealed delivered. <laughs> you don't like that song, <laughs> but the remake, um, by Peter Frampton, and it's only because of exactly what Kev said that song turned on, um, Wait, with my car every oh. single day for like, a, and I, I let it, I let it really. Seat, seat in there with the hate. I, like every day for like a year, a year and a half. And then wait, just, why? Why did it turn on every time you turn on your car? Because like it, it, it just for some reason like my i my phone it just picks a random uh song from Apple Music and it it latches to that. So every wait, time wait, my song uh, I turn song my car on, it it turns on to the point where I'll just delete it off of my phone and just be like, all right, what's the next horrible song? Hey, you you downloaded that song. Apple what? Music plays the songs that you downloaded. You love that I song. I had the album. Yeah, so you love that song. No. Say it, Pat. Say you there love was it. there were songs from bands that I, <laughs> I actually like that after every year for a, every day for a year I listened to every time I turned my car on, I hate it. That's so I just I delete it. <laughs> I used to have that they used to happen with me for like random artists. I I need my music though. Me too, man. I yeah. I listen to Tiny Desk every time I shave. When I get on the plane, I listen to music. Every time you shave, specifically yeah. Tiny Desk? Specifically Tiny Desk. I <laughs> listen to a, a new one and one that I already like. Really? It take you yeah. that long to shave, Cam? Yeah, I take my time, because if I rush, I end up cutting myself and bleeding <laughs> and stuff. They'd be like 10 a, minutes each, though. I, I have a big head. Uh -huh. I have a lot of real estate. I'm sure. And like, I know we all have jokes and stuff. They, I was gonna it's say when you your, your Brazilian what your Brazilian in there. It's okay. Damn, yeah. you stumbled <laughs> off. You had your Brazil. You uh, Brazil is a country in South, <laughs> South America. <laughs> you had it, <laughs> but the Brazilian. <laughs> now you know, I, don't wanna, I don't I don't want to tell y'all what my like songs that I like. I always turn if I hear it because y'all gonna judge me because they're like not bad songs. We're already judging each other, yeah. man. We've all we've all thrown some ones we should be. That the black community will be upset to hear about. Okay. Yeah. Except BT okay. didn't. Never would have made it by Mark. <laughs> <laughs> what no. about the remix though? That, that I'm okay with. But Never. I don't Never. his voice. Stop. Don't do that to your voice. I can't. I don't like it. Never would have made it. You're like, oh, like I wish she would have died. Made it. I, I can't. I don't like Never. that. Never. That was a smash hit. I, it was, and that's why I feel so bad because it's a great song. Like the I word. didn't know you were gonna go gospel song. Dang, it's all right, God. <laughs> it's just <laughs> bad. I turn, I'd be like, uh. I just it's his voice. I love our, his voice. That part of that song, uh, it's a little too. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. Talk. I've never heard nobody say they don't like that song. <laughs> if you make me go black, then it's like anything too old. I'm gonna be like, hey, bro, like. Like Nat King Cole and shit. If, if you don't get out of here, bro, like I gave him a chance. Bro. Nat King Cole. Nat King Cole. Oh, Big trash. Uh, Big trash. You know yeah. what? Who, who else I gave a chance? I bought an album and everything. I'm gonna be. I was like, I'm gonna be historical. I'm gonna do this. I almost threw the CD out the window. Duke Ellington. <laughs> <laughs> like, what kind of Las Vegas bullshit is this? I felt like I was in a casino. <laughs> oh, God. Like, baby. Yo, why are y'all doing this to our to <laughs> our ancestors? Yeah, I can't do too much Mary J. While while we on the subject. Oh my Mary gosh, oh, that was my second one. That's my second one. And I was like, I can't say it. I can't listen to Be Without You. That intro, every time I hear it, boom. <laughs> Turn. 
Oh, my, my mama can't stand Mary J. She be like, she some Mary J. I could do, but yeah. her voice. Is I very- can only do. I can only do from like uh, up until maybe like two thousand and and three. <laughs> Actually, I I take it back. I I'm 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 with Megan. My song is the Dancery song. What was that called? We <laughs> don't need no hate. <laughs> oh, everything down to the beat. Really? <laughs> beat to lyrics to video. Oh God, everything. Yeah, that's my song. That is my song. Uh, you made me listen too much of the locks. I'd be like, all right. Oh. <laughs> the locks? What? Jada, what? I don't know what the locks. That's what so are random. Locks? All right. All right. All right. So then, what are you choosing, you guys? Listen to the song you hate <laughs> um, for a year. This became or... black blasphemy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I went white. I was like, oh, you want me to turn it up? Was hey, listen, I'm fronty. <laughs> Duke. <laughs> I ain't never heard nobody be like, oh, you know who didn't slap? Duke Ellington. Blech. <laughs> John Coltrane. Ain't nobody they try John. It's a good song. Uh, uh, a terrible song once a day. For a year. Okay. Uh, Jasmine. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. A terrible song once a day. BT. I'm gonna need that horrible song once a day because I love my music. And Pat, I'm gonna go with the Mary J. Blige song. I'm gonna put them. I'm gonna play them in. I'm gonna play them in AirPods though at the minimum volume while I'm doing something else. So uh, you, it gotta be maximum, and you gotta dance. You gotta sing along. Uh, technicality, brother. <laughs> Technicalities. Right. And I'm going with the same. I I rather listen to. Never would have made it. <laughs> I'm gonna hit up Marvin and, and send him this. Stop, don't tell him. I'm, I'm like, like, hey, God, hey, Marv, Marv, listen to what Meg said. Marv. <laughs> it looks like uh looks like we're unanimous, you guys. Unanimous it is. Uh thank you guys for watching another episode of uh Squadcast. Thank you, Jasmine W. Thank you, BT Kingsley, for joining us. Of course, the one and only Kev on stage and Patrick Cloud, myself, Meg Scoop. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comments or what does Tier say? Email him. Who cares, man? He says the last and final topic. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Yeah, it's pink eye from eating spoiled butt. <laughs> 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 Boston butt lick. Oh, I thought he was getting horseshoes retacked to his. <laughs> <laughs> Almost been a full episode. He was so close. That's funny, man. Hey, we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Oh man.